Hello everyone, welcome to you, my YouTube channel VBA Automation Tutorial Point. If you are new on this channel, so please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel to get updated videos. So guys, in this video, we will learn and we will talk about selected value function in the Power BI text with an example. So guys, basically selected value function return the value that there is only a one value in the specified column. Right guys? So let's understand with the example. <coughs> right guys so guys suppose uh here we have a two table right now you can see that here we have two table the first table we have country table and here we have a country and here we have a data corresponding to the year year one year two and year three and what i want and uh, let's the problem here if i select the year i have applied a selection on the year if i selected year one right then year one data will be pop up here right against the country when i selected year two then the year two data will be pop up against a country right so how would i do that so let's do it with the help of selected value so for this i'm going to write a measure where i'll use the switch case as well so let's see how we will do it with the help of selected value so here we have a measure four. So now what I'll do is I'll simply declare a variable that is select. You can use as per your word. So I'm on only naming that is select equal to selected value. So I need to pass the column of the table so i have the table name is country name and in the country i have year column based on this i want to filter out the data from the country table All right so now what i need to do i need to write the now return i need a return i need to write a return statement what i want from this measure so return right so now i'll use a switch case in that scenario if my selected value equal to year one then this case will happen if my uh, selected value is this then that case will happen right so i'll simply use switch switch expression is what i'll use simply true if it's true it returned true then what is the value here value one is i'll simply enter there value one select if select value equal to year one then what will be, it will return it will return sum of country table year one right if year equal to selected year two then it will return the sum of country table two right if this is the value right and select equal to year three then it returned the sum of country year table that is column three right so now so now once i click on it so here i have created a mac measure right so simply click on it so now it's created so now what i need to do i need to drag this measure in the table what we have right now so you will see that here simply when i'm drag it here so now you can see that it will automatically populate the value which is selected here so i have selected year two so it will show you the year two results against the country if i selected here 
so it will show the year one data if i selected year three so it will show you the year three and one more thing i just mentioned if you are not selected anything so so now you can pass the alternate result right here so guys that's it that's it for this video if you have any concern any doubt right on this video so write your comment in the comment box i'll get back to you on that guys. so guys thank you thanks for the watching